I'm Alex Harrison. I'm an artist and musician, mural painter, lots of different things here in Memphis. I go by Alex Warble whenever I sign my paintings and whenever I play music because my band's name is The Warble. I've kind of started using that as my last name to promote myself as an artist and a musician here in town. I'm from Fulton, Mississippi, right outside of Tupelo, Mississippi. My parents are both artists. My sister growing up was really into art too, and she graduated from Memphis College of Art, as did I. Even my grandfather was, uh, he was a draftsman and he did a lot of drawing and just a very artistic family. Musical too, my dad, he had his own band and he would play bass. My uncle played guitar, I would sit in with them and play standards and it was a lot of fun growing up. A lot of things that I do are from dreams. I'd have these dreams that it'd be just so vivid that I'd have to write everything down. There would be these objects in the dream that I would find. You know, I'd get up and then draw that out, and then I didn't know what that shape meant, but I, it would become an abstract painting. To me, that's, it's fun to decode those kinds of things and, and, and have that mystery about it. But I think that a lot of people want it, um, you know, they want it to be non-threatening or, uh, um, you know, just right there in your face. I feel like my artwork, you know, it's not really, it's not like a round peg in a round hole. Music is visual in the way that compositionally things are together and they fit together like a puzzle and like in music, there are these places that you put your fingers to make these certain sounds. And the way that like music comes into, into painting, I get obsessed with making a certain grouping of lines. I developed an obsession with uh, these mistral shapes flying through the sky and like, I would do a lot of um, landscape paintings. The grass would have to be this way that I make grass and it has to be my way of making grass or it's gonna be like the quilts that my grandmother made. I'm working on uh, a lot of CD covers. I got a book thing that I'm working on right now, flyers I'm working on. We're finishing our next album. I haven't decided what to call it yet. I'm working on this big mural project out in um, Raleigh at this uh, daycare facility. It's like 8,000 square feet. I work about four or five days a week at the mural right now. And um, I, I like to work at night. It's really quiet at night. And I find that if I'm uh, if no one's around and I'm here by myself at night, I can, I can make a lot of work. I think Memphis is an enchanted place. It's this weird bubble or something. It's like, it has such a wonderful history. As an artist today, it's like, how do you function in that history or how can you reference where you're from? I feel a great connection to the city. You know, like, wow, that's, it's all, you know, it's in, it's in reach. After doing away with television in my house, I didn't realize how, how creative or, or how, you know, just powerful just an you know, extra 20 minutes a day can be to somebody who's working in a creative way or in the visual arts or music. I mean, if I'm painting all this time, and I've painted for eight hours or six hours in a row, I feel like, you know, it's like this arm is painting and this arm is music and I can't make this one weaker than the other one. So it's got, it's always been that way. I would, you know, I'd make sure to even it out. And then, you know, now it's the same thing. And I guess with, you know, um, taking TV out, you got a lot more time. You can do so many things with your day. It's amazing.
you can pick up two or three extra hobbies and 